Welcome to the feature clip on campaign management updates in SAP Business One Release 9.3. Today, we are going to introduce several updates to campaign management in SAP Business One, improving the overall usability and analysis of campaigns. In this latest release of SAP Business One, you can now assign authorizations for not only generating, but also executing campaigns. You also have the ability to load save campaigns and to distinguish between campaigns that have been executed and non-executed campaigns. Previously, editing or reviewing campaign details within the campaign wizard was tedious if a long list of items or business partners were selected for the campaign. Now you can easily search for the relevant target group or business partner details for edit or review with the new find function. The campaign's list selection criteria has also been enhanced, enabling you to filter by linked documents. The campaign list report also provides a better analysis of the campaign outcome, showing you sales amount and gross profit details. Here is an example business case scenario. The marketing assistant of OEC Computers, Kate Milton, has just been granted authorization to manage and execute campaigns in SAP Business One. Kate would like to execute an existing campaign for select customers targeted for end of financial year sales. Kate modifies the campaign in the campaign generation wizard and removes any leads from the business partner list. Kate reviews the campaign list, which highlights the sales orders created linked to the campaign. Kate would also like to easily gain a snapshot of the total sales amount and gross profit based on the campaign success. Let's have a look at this business scenario in SAP Business One 9.3. I'm logged in to SAP Business One as Kate Milton, who has just received authorization to both create and execute campaigns. I would like to execute an existing campaign and I proceed by opening the campaign generation wizard. To do this quickly, I enter the first few letters of campaign in the search menu field, and then I'm able to access the campaign generation wizard via the new CRM module or under business partners. By default, I have the option to create a campaign based on an existing campaign, as previous campaigns have been created in the system. I can also select to only load saved campaigns, which will itemize campaigns which have not yet been executed. I am also able to view all of my executed and saved campaigns. I would like to edit an existing campaign, and therefore I'm going to select create a campaign based on an existing campaign and then I select my end of financial year sales campaign. I would also like to remove all of the leads from my target business partner list. So instead of sifting through the list manually, I'm able to use the new find function to filter and search for the business partners with the code that begins with L, for example. I'm now going to remove all of the leads from the target BP list and then execute the campaign. To analyze the effectiveness of the campaign, I simply open campaign list. I'm then able to refine the selection criteria by document. And in this case, I would like to review all of the sales orders created linked to this campaign. In the campaign list report, I can now easily view the total sales amount and gross profit and gross profit percentage received as a result of the executed campaign. This will help enable us to decide if the campaign was effective and worth executing on a regular basis. Well, that concludes our feature clip on campaign management updates. Thank you for your time today and make sure you check out the other feature clips highlighting SAP Business One Release 9.3.